Jesus and Azimah. My brothers and sisters, my dearest children, because I'm assuming that we do have them with us uh, today in Salatul Jumu'ah as they are uh, enjoying their time away from school. And uh, from the beginning of the month of December, I have, uh, I have gone in a series of talks uh, about Isa alayhi salam and the issues relevant to the birth of Isa alayhi salam as a prophet of Allah and what we need to learn from his life. Uh, and rather than being caught onto the details of whether we should be celebrating or not celebrating uh, certain occasions, we need to rise with our and supplement with our intent attentions and 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 bring himma. they give our children the high ambition in their life rather than being caught in the little details we need to keep them focused in their life we need to let them know that there is something that they created for in this dunya that is more worthy than just living an average life you're not created in this life for the purpose of eating and entertaining yourself rather there is something bigger and beyond that and with alhamd these khutab juma are documented on youtube so you could share these with your children for the benefit because the feedback alhamdulillah has been positive in terms of how we need to see isa as muslimin and what we are expected to know about him to share that with the rest of the people in this society and the same is to be said about what's so called the new year celebration we do not need to talk about that because it's irrelevant to our life we do have our own calendar whereby we're uh, expected to observe and it has meaning it has roots and it has uh, merits to it and it, 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 it has something that is significant in our life related to our life as muslimin it is associated with the, uh, the hijrah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and it's created for the purpose of creating a unique identity for us as Muslimin, rather than following uh, the calendars of other nations who were at the time of the Prophet وسلم, or Umar ibn Khattab who invented uh, this, uh, this, this system of observing the dates. He, he said we need to be unique, we need to be different than others around us. And allow me today to conclude about the high ambition of Isa alayhi salam and not only as a, a prophet of Allah from Ul Azm, the mighty prophets, but let's also be inspired uh, by the story of the whole family, starting from Imra'at Imran, the wife of Imran who was mentioned to us in the Quran and in Allah Astafa Adam wa Nuh wa Ala Ibrahim wa Ala Imran. Allah Azza wa Jal have honored the family of Imran because of what they have done think of it this way an old woman at an old age did not give up the hope to leave marks behind in her life she was a abida indeed but she wants beyond the ibadah to allah azzawajal. she wants to leave behind her a sadaqa jariya something that would make her recognized and and would make the flow of the hasanat continues in her life though she was at an old age. This is when she made dua to Allah Azza wa Jal that, Ya Rabbi, I want a child. She conceived with a child by the will of Allah Azza wa Jal, the mighty. And she gave birth to Maryam alayhi salam. Another person we need to be inspired with, a young woman who was recognized in the Quran and a chapter in the Quran is named after her because of how much devotion she gave in her life to Allah Azza wa in her ibadah. And as a result of her devotion, Allah Azza wa said to her through the malaika, Inna Allah astafaki wa tahharaki ala nisa'il alameen. Above all the women of mankind. And she also did not sit in the corner of the masjid devoting herself to worshipping Allah Azza wa only. But she also left behind her marks and she left behind her uh, sadaqa jariya, she left behind her 
uh, achievements that, that are still recognized up to nowadays. Think of it this way. A young woman in a very uh, disturbed society among Bani Israel who accused her of, uh, of committing zina wal billah and who opposed the teachings of her son as a prophet of Allah Azza wa Jal did not give up and did not turn down as a result of the challenges she was facing in her life but rather she continued to move on and to give and give until she raised Isa alayhi salam to be a prophet of Allah Azza wa Jal think of the contributions think of the difficulties the challenges that Maryam alayhi salam had to endure in her life and some of it were captured to us in the Quran in the time in uh, of the of her of her delivery to Isa alayhi salam when Allah Azza wa Jal said in the Quran qalat ya laytani mittu qabla hadha wa kuntu nasiyan mansiya think of the challenges the difficulties she endured and this message i wanted to resonate in the young in the in the minds of my younger sisters my daughters my 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 sisters whom we have a lot of hopes on uh, and in and, and their life as they walk in the society with their heads up and wearing a hijab as they they face many challenges as they maintain their identity as muslimat as they try to keep away from the haram because one of the things that our teens are challenged with in their life is the the this desire inside their mind and inside their heart and 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 their body for the opposite gender if you think that our children are not going through so much as they go into the, uh, as they live in this society, you're living in illusion. They're human beings just like anyone else. But what makes the difference with them is their persistency, is their determination, is their, is their belief in, in being focused and being unique in their life so that they will be like Yusuf alayhi salam and they will be like Maryam alayhi salam who is as a result of her chastity and ifma was recognized in the Quran and her name was the only female name to be mentioned in the Quran and she had a title after her name a, a chapter that is titled after her name and then look into Isa alayhi salam did not grow up saying that I am a, 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 a person who, who has no father and living with a mother who's having difficulties and challenges in her life but rather he was determined he was focused as Allah uh, spoke uh, on his behalf and told us about his achievements in life so these are things that we need to be aware of as we remember Isa alayhi salam as we remember that there is something beyond and above living a life of eating and entertainment in our life the oh, the focus in our mind should not be only to be able to uh, have uh, a, a nice uh, you know dress out in a nice outfit and an an expensive one uh, a shoes of 300 dollars or pants with 5 or 400 dollars or, or, or you know or buy a gadget that is so expensive that our parents would be having difficulties to bring or buy for us this is not what we're created for in this life we should be having a vision we should be having uh, a, 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 a goal in our life to live by and one of the beautiful things that we uh, have in the seerah of the Sahaba and the Tabi'een as well and because I don't want the young brothers and sisters to say, well, th these are, you know, Allah Azza have chosen them to be prophet. Isa alayhi salam was a prophet of Allah Azza from the prophets of Ulil Azm. Or Maryam alayhi salam was a unique person. She was chosen by Allah Azza. Well, the same trend also have passed on and continued with the Sahaba, continued with the Tabi'een as well. And one of the most beautiful stories that I have been inspired with and uh, is the story of Abdullah ibn Zubair and Urwat ibn Zubair and Abdul Malik 
هو الملك ابن عبد مر... ابن وعبد الملك ابن مروان عبد الملك ابن مروان ومصعب ابن الزبير and in two narrations Abdullah ibn Umar who were youngsters teens after one of the nights in Ramadan they were sitting after taraweeh by leaning by the Kaaba and then they said let us wish for our life listen carefully to this I want my younger brothers and sisters to pay attention to this these are teens they were still young people they did not have any means in their hands or they did not have the potentials into being recognized they said let us wish for our life one of them Abdullah ibn Umar said I want to be one of the recognized scholars of the deen of Allah and Urwat ibn Zubair said also I want to be the most faqih the most faqih of the ummah and then Mus'ab ibn Zubair said I want to be the ruler of Iraq which is a large uh, country uh, and province in the state of Islam and I want to marry the uh, the daughter of Al Hussein ibn Ali radiyallahu anhu and Abdul Malik ibn Marwan said I want not only to be ruling a province I want to be ruling the earth teens were dreaming but they lived and act upon their dreams Urwat ibn Zubair became the most faqih person in Medina afterwards because his auntie the sister of his mother was Aisha radiallahu anha and when she died he did not cry because he said that I have memorized and got all the ahadith and the ilm that Aisha radiallahu anha captured from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam so I'm not concerned though I am sad that she passed away Allahu Akbar Abdullah ibn Umar is known to us for his he's a, an independent school of thought in Islam and Mus'ab ibn Zubair also achieved what he was aiming for in his life to be the ruler or the premier in the state for the state of Iraq in the umbrella of Islam and Abdul Malik ibn Marwan also achieved what he was uh, what he was aiming for and dreaming for and he became Khalifa al-Islam the state of Islam and the state of Islam at his time almost ruled the whole earth think dream and roll your sleeves and work very hard regardless of how how unrealistic your dream is you never know Allah Azzawajal will provide the means for you as he has provided the means for Yusuf alayhi salam as he has provided the means for Musa alayhi salam as he has provided the means for for so many of the Sahaba in their life to achieve their goals in life aim high don't only say I want to be from those who enter Al Jannah ask Allah for the highest stage of Al Jannah as it is the middle of Al Jannah and it is where, whereby the rivers of the, run, the Jannah runs from Allah as the Prophet said in Allah Allah does not want you to be living an average or marginalized life but rather Allah the Prophet Allah wants you to live a person with a high ambition Abdullah ibn Zubair who is the son of Az Zubair ibn al-Awwam the Hawari of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was also dreaming and he became Khalifa to the Hijaz and Egypt and, and Khorasan and have achieved also what he was aspiring for to be a person who have left marks behind him and he was killed as a shaheed in the Kaaba. We want our children to think and to dream and to work very hard. The harder you work in your life, the more you will be achieving. And the 
less you think and dream in your life, the, the more you live a marginalized life, the more you will be like those many billions who have lived on earth and died. They might have achieved something in their life that would make them live a comfortable life. But who knows about them? Who cares about them? No one knows them. No one cares about them. But those who have lived for Allah and for their deen have achieved a lot and have been recognized. And they have been like a kalimatum tayyiba. Tu'ti ukuluha kulla hain. The books of Sahih Bukhari, the books of Fiqh, those who have worked very hard, like the cousin of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, speak for how much they have worked hard and how much they achieved in their life. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us all be inspired by these stories, to be elders who are inspired by the wife of Imran, to be young women who are inspired by Maryam Alayhi salam to be young men who are inspired by Isa alayhi salam and to be young men who are inspired by the stories of the Sahaba and the Tabi'een. May Allah Azza have Rahman us. Wa qulu qawli hada wa astaghfirullahi wa lakum astaghfiruhu wa barakuzan wa astaghfiruhu. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, nahmadu wa nasta'inu 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 wa nasta